Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we had... I did not mean to do that. <laughs> In the last episode, we cleared out the Yampi Desert Cave and Treasure Island. And this is what we got. Got a whole bunch of uh, forging materials to... Uh, Alright, so, uh, I crafted some things using the raw materials we got. We also learned the summon spells Daedalus and Azul. And I might just be using those in the next, uh... Might just be using those for the next post-game boss fight thing. I also took the liberty of reorganizing uh, my items, but I still have yet to sell the stuff that my forged stuff is replacing because we are kind of running low on uh, running low on stuff here. Anyway, time to sell some stuff. Transfer my healing items, for example, my vials. Those are all going to go to Garrett, because, uh... Mia could use some help, is basically what I'm saying here. That seems like it would be of use to us. And actually, I just now realized that we are only missing one gin. Ginning. Guess I, uh. miscounted. <laughs> I guess that's what happened. That being said, it is time to teleport. Where to, you ask? Izumo is once again the closest. Going to this island right here. The sea of Time Island, I think it's called. And we actually went there earlier when we were looking for a Venus Jenny for Felix back uh, during the Eastern Sea Explorations. But, now that we can teleport, the other half of the dungeon is now open to us. So, we'll be going down that way. Let's see, I have my bearings right. Yes. Sea of Time Island. Remember the trading quest? That is my mom's coming back from food shopping, so I am going to go help her. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Where's my controller? It's right here. Let's do this thing. Getting 
our final uh, Jenny here, too, I believe. So, let's teleport. Yeah, I think we'll be good to go. I mean, Mia has all of that, uh... PSI restoring stuff, so... <coughs> We've got some good healing, and I think this guy gets, like... Two or three attacks per turn, but really fun. Yeah, you can see we're fighting enemies from Mars Lighthouse in here now, so. Clearly, the game does not want you in here early. Not that you can get in here early, because you absolutely need teleport. I believe in one of these corridors you can fight one of the most grind-worthy enemies in the game. It's the, uh, Wonderbird, I think. It's got loads of experience, and it has a small chance of dropping the, uh, best light blade in the game. So if you like to use Jenna and I, that's, uh, definitely something you want to look out for. Unleash the power of the sun. It's mega uncool. Okay, yeah, seriously. Seriously, 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 seriously. Yeah, there's like three corridors of <sighs> Enemies. You are all such a thing. Okay, this- There we go! Now it's doing something. Hello there, Mercury. You are going to die. Rising Dragon! <laughs> That's a one-round KO if I ever saw one. Alright, last Jenny in the game. Just what we need. Now I just gotta, uh. I believe this is the corridor where you can fight Wonderbirds. How did I know? But I think they run away sometimes, so. Wait, do they run away, or. I know they can, like, summon their allies. Like, if you run into two Wonderbirds, then you can just, like, grind on them like crazy while they revive you. Yeah, did you see how much EXP they got? They got a quad level up there. It is amazing at this point. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think this is the final area. This is... oh. Got to get my awesome set up, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Meet Sentinel, the only boss in the game that is immune to Synergy. So yeah, it's a good thing I have a bunch of physical attackers in this thing. I think this guy has about as much HP as the final boss does. It could be wrong. Yeah, he's gonna be doing nonsense like this, where he moves three times. And he recovers HP. Like, really, video game? But hey, we've got a. Uh, got Deadbeard's thing playing, so that's a bonus. Wait, wait, why did I wish? I should've just gone with Flywell. Oh well. It's not like Mia isn't already recovering all of her... ...signs anyway. What, again? You couldn't... You couldn't kill me with one, so you try to attack me. How many turns do you get?
is our main damage dealer here right now. And we got it. Ooh, Destruct Ray. Alright, triple level up from a boss. That's not too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the third optional summon. Catastrophe. This is an 8-gen summon, which is not bad at all. Let's retreat, though, and we'll be heading straight to the next optional dungeon. Yep. And also, uh, you know, I can heal. I can heal when we get to where we need to be. It's not even a problem at all. It's a thing. It's not a problem, it's a thing. It's a thing, a thing, a thing, a thing, a thing, a thing. Let's just teleport to Contigo. You want to see Catastrophe? I'll show you Catastrophe. Let's give me a second. Well, first of all, switching to Guy Ghost. Jin. Thing wasn't responding. All right, let's get into a fight, and I'll show off Catastrophe. All of this, by the way, all of the summons are nuke everything attacks. Once you start getting over three or four gin medals. Where the heck is Catastrophe? Oh, I'm dumb. Alright, well, I'll, do better. I'll show off this guy first. Then. Awesome hey there, Bahamut. How's it going? <laughs> Your Mega Flare is as strong as ever, I see. Alright, Mia, you go away because I need Gary to show this off. Actually, no. This is like Judgment Mark II. <laughs> Five hundred thirteen damage because you know it's not a boss, but you know, summons do a lot more to bosses than they do normal enemies. 
things in this game. It's just how the game works. Alright. Bring back me. Walk around a bit more while we, uh... Well, a few more, but nobody cares about Sheba. 